So you may not know this, but Steve Sisolak isn't the only person that runs things in the whole state of Nevada. We got other people like Carolyn Goodman. Where is she? That's what this, this video will explore. Where is Carolyn Goodman? Where did she go? Uh, we are going to talk a little bit about the history of everything, and uh, I want to know in the comments below if you guys would actually vote for her if you were able to. Now, it doesn't matter if you could vote for her. She's term limited, so she's done after 2024, And uh, but we have gone through so much craziness in the last few months, and uh, I'm just going to go over the history of all that, talk about where has she been, does she have a responsibility to her constituents at this point, or is she just doing what she does after pointing out that she's not even the mayor of most people in Las Vegas. She's actually the mayor of a very small fraction of people. We need leadership in this pandemic, okay? We need people who can stand up and take the mantle and say, we're going to fix things. We're going to do a good job. And have we had that? That's the question. I don't know. So my name is Steven. I'm not leaving Las Vegas. I'm a Vegas blogger. I hope you would like, share, subscribe, hit the bell for them future notifications there, and then also comment below. If you were a person who was here and you had an opportunity to vote for Carolyn Goodman, knowing what you know now, would you do it? Did she have an easy way to get into office? Possibly we talk about that too. If you want to support the channel, it's going to be Patreon. If you guys want to be in the credits of the videos, you guys can also head on over and see photos. Like last night when I ended my live stream, I posted a bunch of photos over there of the Silverton. High quality, nice HD, good looking photos. I also do blog posts and entries, early videos. We also have VegasFaceMask.com. The only two masks you'll ever need. My wife makes them right out here. I love this country, so I'm wearing my cool patriotic mask. We have over 50 styles. You guys might want to check that out. Ships anywhere too for 25. Also links in the description box below to Amazon. Let's talk about Carolyn Goodman, all right? <laughs> so Carolyn Goodman, obviously the spouse of the last Las Vegas mayor, Oscar Goodman. Oscar Goodman, you have to say a little bit about him if you're going to talk about his wife, Carolyn. So, you know, he was um, notorious and infamous or famous, depending on who you talk to. You know, Oscar came and his wife came to Las Vegas a long time ago. It was it the late 50s, early 60s? Uh, they were basically, he was a public defender working in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. He came out to Vegas because he heard it was cheap to live out here. They were basically living in a small hovel apartment in Philly and they could get a full on house for the same price in Vegas. And he was a public defender out here in Vegas too. But because his wife Carolyn played a type of gaming, gambling, at the Hacienda, it was like a rudimentary version of blackjack where you add up numbers, um, she got to be friends with a pit boss, or not a pit boss, a dealer. One day a pit boss came into the casino back in the mob run days and said, I need the best lawyer in town. Well, because Oscar himself didn't gamble, just like to suck back his martinis and watch his wife play. And because she was always loyal to this one dealer playing this game, and I can't remember the game, that the game doesn't exist in casinos anymore. Um, this guy said to the pit boss, I know the best lawyer in town, call Oscar Goodman. Before Oscar Goodman knew it, he was defending the son of one of the mafia bosses that was running the Hacienda Casino in Las Vegas and basically <laughs> basically defending the guy for you know stealing a car driving we a trunk full of weapons from Arizona to 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 Las Vegas there's more to that story but you know Oscar went on to be one of the most uh, biggest profile mafia uh, defenders and attorneys in the city he was in the movie Casino playing himself when he's in the courtroom scene with Robert De Niro. I mean, this guy here had this legacy of loving Las Vegas, defending the bad guys who helped build Las Vegas. And then eventually he ran for mayor and just his charisma and his connections got him elected. And of course, she's the incumbent. She's the second version of the Goodmans here in Vegas. So she runs for mayor, basically boom. I can't snap my fingers, by the way. Boom, she gets elected. It wasn't very hard for her. And then she got a selected for elected for a second term. I don't know if it's two or three terms out here in Vegas. Doesn't matter. She said a bunch of dumb stuff. So that brings us up to right now. So my question, the first question I have, you can answer me if you give me your opinion. Is she was she ever in a position where she had to try very hard to get elected? I probably lean on the side of no. It's not very difficult to get elected 
when you're married to one of the most famous mayors that Las Vegas ever had and you just carry his namesake, his legacy. This happens in politics all the time. You know, you have the Kennedys, for example. Uh, I can't think of anybody on the other side right now that has a legacy on the R side, you know. So if you guys know anybody, post it in the comments below because it happens, in, for example, in the Philippines, where my wife is from, uh, in her hometown. There's a family called the Dutertes, and he's now the president of the country. He was term limited. Now his daughter, Sarah Duterte, she's now the mayor of the city where he was mayor once before she was mayor. So this is something that happens. I guess she didn't have to try all that hard <laughs> to become the mayor. It's not all that difficult when you're married to one of the famous mayors in America. But he loved Las Vegas. Does Carolyn love Las Vegas? I don't know because she hasn't spoken up in the last little while about anything. I tried to look at the news archives on Google and you know Bing Yahoo and find out what has she been up to. All I can see is that on July 7th she walked through a disinfectant tunnel and looked at different technologies for keeping things clean. But before that, uh, before July, holy cow, back in April, she was going off at the mouth on Anderson Cooper. And, and I will say something about that. He's a very good interviewer. She was ill prepared for the interview. He walked her right into a corner and then slammed her against the wall repeatedly with questions until she broke and said something ridiculous. Was she right? We'll talk about that too. But what about before all that? See, before all that, y'all were really happy with her. You loved her. I was seeing Carolyn Goodman, Goodman 2020 for president, because she was standing up in city council chambers here in Las Vegas before everything was just wacky and we realized that we might have a bigger problem on our hands. And then Sisolak closed everything. She was standing up there going, this is ridiculous. Steve Sisolak is going to destroy the economy. We need to reopen the economy. We need to do it now, 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 slamming her hand down on the desk. Okay, fair enough. I understand you're upset but you didn't take 10 steps back. You claimed that he didn't have medical experts and that you had medical experts, but I'm curious what medical experts way back at the end of March, anywhere on the planet were saying, no, just open it all up, it's no problem, ain't gonna be a thing. I don't think there was a medical expert out there that was saying that, and if yours were saying that, Carolyn, not a good thing. So we were all championing her though. We all wanted the city to open back up. A lot of people didn't see it as a problem. Uh, you know, I was never a denier of the C-19 virus. I was always somebody who wanted to look at it and say, what's the real thing that's going on here? We don't know. It's hard for us to say what the real situation is until we have way more information and data. And I've told you guys that before. So as things progressed, I think a lot of people realized from March into April when she went on Anderson Cooper, <coughs> And she pointed out, I'm not even the mayor of that many people, Anderson. You guys have to chill out on me. I think a lot of people realized that her slamming her hand down probably wasn't the best thing to do at the time. And that's fine. People make mistakes all the time. But at this point, she really put her foot in her mouth. And then she went completely silent because a recall happened for Mayor Goodman. Yeah, a recall. Now, I talked about it on the channel here. I said, why? <laughs> Somebody who doesn't live here went on Twitter, is a poker player, can't even remember his name. That's how important he turned out to be in terms of this recall. Um, in that, uh, he said, we got to recall this lady. I love Las Vegas. Well, first of all, you don't live in Las Vegas. You're not even a Nevada resident. So he was actually asking on his Twitter for people who were Nevada residents to start the recall process for him. And the recall process was viewed as either great or stupid by people depending on who you were talking to. And that went away. That went away because of COVID reasons. They couldn't obviously go from door to door and knock on public doors and residences when we were still partially shut down. So she basically skimmed by, uh, what did I say, got by on the skin of her teeth on that one. So now we have her becoming completely silent for a really long time, mind you. And I'm curious, where has our leadership gone? You know, say what you will about Steve Sisolak, but he goes and he does live questions with people. I don't think that the questions that the reporters, when they talk to him, are having are basically vetted. I think that he is basically answering live questions and doing the best to give answers and provide answers that he can. And that's a good thing. Uh, but at the same time, she hasn't said a single thing. The city of Las Vegas has been going through some turmoil. Uh, we had the mayor pro terma, whatever it's called. That's the person who would become mayor if the mayor could not serve their duties anymore. Replaced because the person that was in that position said a bunch of crazy stuff in chambers. Something about racism that we won't get into on the channel. You know, the city has a massive budget problem. <laughs> the state has a massive budget problem. Carolyn Goodman probably had some people tell her to shut her mouth, be quiet, 
let the powers that be uh, mess themselves up. You don't have to sink yourself like this. And there's a good chance that her husband too said, what are you doing? I built this city. I built this city on rock and roll. Well, not quite, but he had a lot of concerts get here. I just like song references myself. There's a good chance Oscar said, stop it. Stop it. Don't say things like that anymore. Don't you realize there was a gotcha moment? They got gotcha. you. Now they're labeling you. And for the record, she's been an independent next to her name. Not a Democrat, not anything for a long time. But at first when she was talking about opening the city up and slamming her hand on the ground, nobody cared what her political uh, option uh, uh, stance was. And after, they all said she was a Republican. Why? Because people wanted to label, but she's really an independent. And before that, she was a Democrat. So it just goes to show. What you think is not what you always know. And what you think is right isn't always right. Do your research on stuff. And like I say, I've researched Carolyn. She hasn't been active. On July 7th, she just went through some disinfectant tunnel and looked at some technologies for keeping things clean, presumably for City Hall, City Chambers, and the City of Las Vegas. But then again, does it even matter? I don't know. This isn't her territory right now. Right now I'm walking through an area <coughs> south of by the Silverton. This isn't anything that Mayor Goodman has anything to do with. So it doesn't really matter. Doesn't matter if she's here. Doesn't matter if she's saying things. Doesn't benefit this right here. What it does is she benefits about 500,000 people in Vegas, but she also is the mayor of the city of Las Vegas. So if it doesn't matter, whatever she says, it doesn't affect most of the residents here. It certainly does affect the public image of the city. The public image of the city, the city of Las Vegas. When you visit here, you don't understand that half the time you're not even in Vegas. Maybe when you're downtown on Fremont Street, you're actually in the city of Las Vegas. So she does represent a bigger overall picture, right? And that's, the, that's really the message here. Leadership, representation. If you have a company and the company is messing up, they always look to the leader. If the leader decides to go on a six month vacation around the world while things are falling apart, they replace the leader with somebody else. If the leader says something so overly the top, bombastic, they try to vote the leader out with CEOs and people that are shareholders in the company trying to get new new leadership on board. Mayor Goodman has been quiet for a long time. Maybe it's for the better. Maybe we all just need to duck and cover for a little bit. But it would be nice to see her bringing people together. It would be nice to see her trying to get the casino industries to participate, to bring in the locals, to have the people that are already here have some good rates and reasons to go to the Strip and try to pump some money in the casinos if they have it. It would be nice to see her communicating with federal and state government agencies to try to get some more unemployment insurance and things like this because people out here are worried to death. But she's been quiet, so whether or not it matters, that's going to be your call to put into the comments below. I'm just curious what you have to think about the whole thing and whether or not you would vote for Mayor Goodman if you were in Las Vegas and if you could even vote for her. Because once again, after 2024, she's just going to be a blip. Whether or not her kids, I know she has a son and a daughter, I think her son's a lawyer, maybe her daughter is too, I'm not sure what they do. Maybe they're going to run for mayor someday. Will they have as easy as time to become mayor as she did? Probably not. Not at this point, but hey, doesn't matter. These are rich people problems for rich people. I'm just a guy with a camera. My name is Steven. I'm not leaving Las Vegas. I'm a Vegas blogger. I hope you guys would like, share, subscribe. Hit the bell for the future notifications. If you want to support the channel, head on over to Patreon. But the biggest thing you could do is actually just subscribe to the channel. A lot of you guys are watching the videos over and over. You're commenting, you're liking, but you're not subscribed. The subscription is what helps YouTube know that I'm worth watching and it helps them know that, hey, I should recommend this to other people that might be just like the one watching. So with that, check out VegasFaceMask.com, the only two face masks you'll ever need. And we'll see you guys in another video. And I am hot and I'm walking because my car is in the shop, but until the next one, I'm out. So three, two, one, are you ready for click? Three, two, one, and click.
Thank you.